Oke, okay. wow. We process beef, pork, and lamb for sale, and we also process deer and uh, wild game for customers. This here is a buffalo that we're cutting up. This buffalo comes from Woodside Ranch, which is right down the road from us. We do a lot of local business. Uh, we butchered this buffalo. And as you can see, I'm going to show you some of the cuts that come off of it. This would be a ribeye or a rib steak. The difference is the fact that just as there's a bone here. Look at that, that looks good, doesn't it? These are soup bones. Uh, these are sirloin tip roasts, very lean. And that's, that's about all the cuts and all the trimmings that we got for buffalo. One of our main things is uh, smoked sausage, and our main product, our number one product is the Land Eaters here. These are the ones we won the state fair with last year, and we make about five to six hundred pounds of these a week, and they're distributed throughout the state of Wisconsin. We sell them at our store here. We make about 50 different kinds of sausage. We also do custom processing of beef and pork for people. We do deer processing. And we do wholesale and retail sales of product also. In central Wisconsin, we're in lots of stores and convenience stores, like we're at Festival Foods. We're at about 25 quick trip locations. We're an approved Walmart vendor. We're at several Walmarts. And then we have some statewide distributors. So just about anywhere in Wisconsin, you can find some of our products. This product, for instance, some of the steps involved. First, you've got procurement. We've got to purchase the beef or pork. We either get it live or we get it brought in as boxed. If it's in as live, it's slaughtered and then it's boned. From that, the next step is then further processing. It'll be ground, it'll be formed, shaped, and then cooked, and then packaged. And then from there, it goes into distribution. Either we sell it here retail or it goes out on the wholesale track to be sold. We operate under the Wisconsin Department of Agriculture. So we've got to fo follow all the USDA regulations on the Meat and Food Inspection Act. Well, we contribute in a lot of ways. We have about 20 employees here from uh, Juneau and Adams County that we employ, support their families. We buy a lot of local goods and services, a lot of local livestock. We buy several hundred head of beef and pork a year. We've got a good relationship with the school. We help out with the kids at school, donate a lot to school. We really enjoy being in Boston. we got a pretty good relationship with the community. A lot of travelers know us and we're well known, so all in all, Boston's a pretty good place to do business in.